you know, why would someone... As we were talking, neighbors became angry. You don't have to call for backup. No, honey, that was your mom. Honey. Your mom called the police yesterday. She was 94 years old. And called the police on a nine-year-old. Shut the f up. Oh. Oh. Shut your f mouth. Despite What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Artie Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So, my friend, my good friend, Jessica Murphy. Y'all know her. Some of y'all know her. She had a YouTube channel, too, at Jessica Murphy. She sent me a video on Instagram. She's like, yo, you got to check this out. These Karens are something else. There's something else. I know. That's why the shirt says what it says. That's why we say, hi, Karen. I was actually at a place today, my uh, my juice bar spot that I quite frequent, and there was a lady in front of me. She had a Karen haircut. She was with her daughter, and guess what her name was? <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> but anyway, she wasn't acting up. She wasn't being crazy. She was just an actual Karen. You know, I, w I wish I had my merch on. I usually always go in there with the Karen merch on. That would have been ironic. <laughs> anyway, for the second time. We're about to check this out. I watched half of it. I was like, I can't do no more. I got to watch this with my viewers. So we're about to finish it. And then I might follow with another video that I recently came across. I, I just, just came across, actually, as I was walking to the door. But anyway, for the third time, let's watch this. This video is titled, Karen Calls Cops on a Nine-Year-Old for Using Chalk. It's not about what she was using has more to do with what she was writing. Let's go. Three words Mira Acklin wanted to help spread. She doesn't have a loud voice. Come on. And she's nine, so no social media just yet. But she has chalk. I wrote Black Lives Matter. In big, bright letters in front of her home. Black and white people, they should be treated the same way. And I wanted to show my support how much I really care about black people. The neighbors came out. She is so precious. To help us and we've had... The neighbors came out to help us and we've had... Mostly all support. Until she says a neighbor called police. The officer pulled up and put his window down and said, it's chalk. And my whole body was like shaking. But they didn't stop her. They said that I should do it more often and like if it goes away, then I should just do it more and more. And I said, you know, honey, as uncomfortable as you feel, people of color feel this fear every day multiplied times a million. Woo! <laughs> Shout out to the mother. Shout out to the mother because she gets it. Now, I know I got many of viewers that get real uncomfortable when I touch on topics like this. They don't like when I do it. Too bad. Too bad. Shout out to, to the mother. Again, she gets it. Because that is what it's like. This girl is not doing anything wrong. At all. Now, just like a lot of you all, I'm against the movement, what it became. But as this little girl understands, she's nine years old, as she understands it to be, people with darker skin, black people, their lives matter too. That's what she understands. That's what I initially understood, but it became something else. What she's doing here is trying to say, hey, look, we're all in this together. This world is crazy. Let's be kind to each other. No matter what your ethnicity is, no matter what your skin tone is, let's be kind to each other. That's what matters. I understand y'all have had it rough for a long time. Your lives matter too. That's what this little girl understands. But the mother response in regards to what the little girl is experiencing by people hating on it. 
by people hating what this girl is doing was the perfect response. Because you could be doing nothing wrong. Just like the man that birthday passed, I think it was yesterday or the other day, you know the incident. It happened in Brunswick, Georgia. Where that man was just running, going for a run in his neighborhood and was gunned down. He was doing nothing wrong. He couldn't understand why people would hate someone just, just because the of, of their skin, skin color. Mm -hmm. You know, why would someone? And most, most kids w wouldn't be able to understand that. Most kids wouldn't be able to understand that. The man that I told you guys about recently, I can't remember his name. You guys know it. Some of y'all know it. The black man that was able to get several hundred, 200 plus exactly, clan leaders and members to step down and no longer want to be a part of those organizations. That's exactly where it started from with him when he was a boy. He went to his mother because of how he was treated. And he was asking her, hey, what's wrong here? I don't understand this. And the mother was like, yo, these people will hate on you or not like you because of the color of your skin. And he was like, what? I don't understand that. Why would somebody hate me because of the color of my skin? And he came from somewhere. He went to a school where it was so diverse. I think he was in a different country as well. So he didn't experience that there. He came back to America, his own home, where he experienced that. He got obsessed with trying to find out why that was and start to school people on their ignorance. Like I told you before, racism is ignorant. You fear that which you lack of understanding. You know, why would someone? As we were talking, neighbors became angry. You don't have to call for backup. No, honey, that was your mom. Honey. Your mom called the police yesterday. She was 94 years old. And called the police on a nine year old. Shut the f up. Oh. Oh. Shut your f mouth. Despite that level of hatred is taught. If you heard that conversation, the mother was talking to these news reporters when a Karen blurted out to her about the cops being called. And this woman's like, your mother called. Your 90-year-old mother called the cops on a 9-year-old child. And that woman just said, shut the F up. Her attitude, she probably got that from her mother. Let's talk. Despite the discouragement, Mira's mission to spread this message worked. It was alarming that we've reached a point in life to where we have to call a police on a third grader who just simply wants to um, voice her opinion and voice her feelings on how she feels. Christopher Burton knew his daughter wanted to be a part of the Black Lives Matter movement. After catching wind of Mira's efforts, they showed up ready to draw. Where she can come out, um, help support another young lady as well too, who um, is going through something at such a young age. This is like a really important like message that needed to be heard to like kids all over the place, like kids, adults, everybody. And this kid was listening and using the small resources she had to spread a message she says doesn't quite fit on paper. I'm just gonna make it bigger and do it over and over again. In Canal Winchester. Man. This is heartwarming. To see this little girl's dedication to this. She says she's going to do it over and over. And she's going to make it bigger and bigger.
It's funny. Um, I can't help but to think how she has a better attitude about life and others than most adults that I see nowadays. There's a honesty. There's a purity in her ability to understand that we're all in this together. Shout out to this little girl. Shout out to her mother for doing such a good job at raising her to be strong, to be a thinker, to be a leader. Because what's the opposite of this? What you heard in this video from the neighbors, that old woman raised her daughter quite differently. You saw how that woman yelled and cursed profanities when it was absolutely unnecessary. What she said didn't have to be said at all. Listen, I'll go back. Didn't have to be said at all. Watch. Why would someone... As we were talking, neighbors became angry. You don't have to call for backup. No, honey, that was your mom. Honey. Your mom called the police she yesterday. Was 94 years old. And called the police on a nine year old. Shut the f up. Oh, oh. Shut your f mouth. Just How necessary was that? Instead of having a civil conversation, she yells and curses at this woman and tells her to shut up. There was nothing progressive that could have possibly came from her yelling at this woman in a way that she did. Man, that brought a little tear to my eye. That brought a little tear to my eye. But anyway, we gonna end this one right here. Y'all know what time it is. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original you know what? I'm not linking this. I'm not linking this. Make sure you follow your boy, though, on the gram and Twitter. Right up here in the top right-hand corner. At all the kicks. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.